848, almost 849 now on this Thursday morning. Good morning, everyone. It is feeling better across northeastern Oklahoma, isn't it? Cold front has moved through a brisk northeast breeze. Uh, you can see we've got sunshine and cloud cover in our look from Jinx. I'm showing you that because that's going to be kind of the combo we have today. The further south you head, the sunnier it'll be. The further north you head, the cloudier it's going to be and cooler. Uh, you certainly, we certainly could use some rain. Of course, don't want to, you know, have too much negative news with it actually feeling nice for change. But unfortunately, the newest drought monitor gets released right about this time and it does not look good. It continues to worsen, which is, I know, no surprise. But that area of exceptional drought, kind of that darker red, that's the worst category of drought, has expanded significantly across southeastern, south central and southeastern Oklahoma, basically I-40 to the south from Okima, you follow to McAllister, also on the Oklahoma-Kansas state line, uh, and moderate to severe drought elsewhere. I mean, we're in bad shape right now, and unfortunately, the rain prospects remain uh, fairly bleak over the next several days as far as anything measurable. There's a little bit of rain on radar right now, so this is good to see. And the best chance for steadier showers, Chautauqua, Montgomery, Labette counties, you have a better shot at that this morning. It's not going to amount to much, but you have a little bit better opportunity. And then some sprinkles possible, Pawnee, Osage, Washington County, even the Tulsa Metro. We might see a few sprinkles as the day goes along, but that's about it. And like I said, the long-term rain prospects over the next several days, very, very little. I mean, we could, could see some minor, minor amounts of rain north of Tulsa, but we are still hurting for that, unfortunately. The last seven days worth of highs, Whew, talk about one last uh, summer heat wave, was it ever? Uh, from the last weekend through this week, we've been in the upper 90s. Somehow, some way, we stayed below 100 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yesterday, though, was a record high of 99. Hopefully, we won't do that again uh, anytime soon, but it does get hot again over the weekend. We've been watching the tropics, as you know, Hurricane Fiona, major, major hurricane, uh, reaching Category 4 strength, and it may impact Bermuda, at least close by tomorrow. Tropical Storm Gaston, way up into the Atlantic. No impacts there. By the way, Fiona... Uh, is potentially going to be a big time impact in kind of the eastern Canadian provinces near Nova Scotia later this weekend. And then we're still watching here uh, the Lesser Antilles area. That's an area of disturbed weather that may produce some significant tropical developments as we head towards mid to late next week. That's something you'll be hearing a lot about. We'll be watching it closely. All right, back here, closer to home. 60s north, 70s south uh, with that cold front kind of slowing down in southeastern Oklahoma. So low 50s out in northwestern Oklahoma. That's where the real deal fall air is. So through the afternoon, hours that front slides south but slows down some sprinkles very light rain on the Oklahoma Kansas state line cloud cover making a big impact on temperatures though low 70s uh, near the Oklahoma Kansas state line upper 70s around the metro to prior low it to mid 80s long I-40 still low 90s in southeastern Oklahoma tonight tomorrow morning most of us cool off nicely we've got some upper 50s and low 60s on the map I think it's gonna be a very nice fall like morning tomorrow but then the rapid whip around tomorrow afternoon we're back into the low 90s in most spots so we're gonna be changing out wardrobes from Friday morning to Friday afternoon, mid 90s on Saturday. So the heat's not gone just yet, unfortunately. But then that second cold front arrives Sunday. North winds get gusty again, a slight chance for a couple of showers. That second cold front, though, does look like it will bring us a more sustained stretch of cooler weather for the first half of next week.